if you're new, my name is Heather and my channel is called Beautifully Mixed Makeup. Welcome back to another edition of Face Mask Sunday. I believe this is number five that we're on. I'll double check. Is it number five? I think so. Okay, so anyways, so if you are new to Face Mask Sunday, basically I choose a face mask that I've never tried before and I try it on for the first time on camera, let you guys know all the ins and outs, how much it is, what it's supposed to do, the different ingredients in it, that kind of thing, what I like about it, what I don't like about it. I'll take it off, tell you whether it does or does not do what it claims to do and hopefully by doing that I will save you guys a little bit of money and hopefully pick out some good brands for you uh, to try in the future. Now before we go any further let's do a little disclaimer and say that I am not a professional skincare uh, person or a professional makeup artist. I'm just a girl who loves anything makeup beauty related and these are just my opinions so if you you know disagree or you agree whatever makeup is a very personal thing so you know to each his own hopefully if you have skin like mine they'll work for you and if they don't let me know you know I always am trying to find new products and you know new ways to try things out so definitely let me know I know I'm looking a little pale today I've been super sick this last week which is you know been a whole big deal but I wanted to hop on here and give you guys another video I am my skin has been oh my goodness I have been taking a lot of different medications and trying to get well and I've just probably been a little dehydrated so my skin is definitely feeling it so today after all of that <laughs> we are going to try out this Andalus natural pumpkin honey glycolic mask so oh there's Yoshi hi Yoshi she has come to say hi. This is my, uh, she just turned a year old, my little tortoiseshell kitten. She is, loves the beauty room. We've really set it up kind of nicely, so she is all about checking it out, huh? What are you doing? <laughs> anyway, so back to this mask. This is supposed to be a really good brightening mask. It is from Andalou Naturals, which I really like some of their products. I'm actually testing some of them out right now, and so far so good. I'll update you guys on that later on. Um, this is supposed to be the, this is the pumpkin honey and it is supposed to do a lot of really good things for your skin. I have some research that I've been doing. Let me let you know really quick. This mask I got for $15 on Ulta and actually right now it is on sale so if you want to grab this mask I would suggest getting it on Ulta right now. And I'm gonna go ahead and put this mask on and then we'll talk about some of the ingredients and what it's supposed to do. So let's do a headband first. You gotta rock those cat ears because is there really any other way to go? <laughs> All right, so this says to apply evenly to clean, dry, or damp skin and leave for 10 to 20 minutes and then rinse off with cool water. So right off the bat, it does look like pumpkin puree right off the bat and oh it does smell like it so let me actually move you guys in a little bit closer you can so you can kind of see what I'm doing and we'll be right back so now we're a little bit closer I again I apologize if my voice sounds a little funny I'm getting over this illness and it's still kind of wrecking my body so all right so here's the little container you do get uh, let's see does it say 1.7 ounces so a decent amount and it smells like pumpkin and it's kind of sweet kind of almost like pumpkin pie but kind of like pumpkin pie soap so not necessarily pumpkin like you don't want to eat this so hopefully that makes sense um it has got a very thick moussey kind of texture and actually really just reminds me of pumpkin puree so i'm going to start putting this on So I'm hoping that the smell dissipates a little bit because it is a little on the sweet side. I'm not sure how much I like that. And obviously this is not clear. Some of the masks I do um, have been clear in the past and I say, you know, you could put this on, run and pick up the mail or answer the door if you had some packages and nobody would even know that it was on your face. This one, not so much. It does kind of look like you have it's kind of like baby food, and that's actually what it kind of reminds me of. Kind of smells like baby food, too. Except for not baby food I want to eat. 
So yeah, this week has been kind of interesting. I've been really sick, like I said. And so it's been a lot of downtime, a lot of just hibernating time, trying to get better, going back and forth from the doctors. But I finally think that I have this licked. So I'm hopefully gonna go back to work this week and be able to film and get all that. So it doesn't smear out. Oops, something I'm noticing is it kind of the orange, like the uh, actual puree does not smooth out all the way. Like you can see it kind of looks like I have spots on my face, but the actual product, it's partially clear. So this pumpkin puree is in like a clear liquid, if that makes sense, or clear gel. And so it, that smooths out, but the actual pumpkin puree doesn't smooth out all the way. All right, so there that is, it's on my face. I'll wipe my fingers off. I'm gonna set my timer for 20 minutes and then tell you a little bit more about what's going on in this mask and what it's supposed to do. Uh, let's see, let's go timer and timer, there we go. I'm gonna go for 20 minutes. And there we go, we are starting. All right, so this mask is supposed to, it's supposed to, like I said, it's supposed to be a brightening mask, we knew that, but let's see if I can pull this up. Okay, so this is supposed to have vitamin C, pumpkin puree, um, manuka, manuka honey, and glycolic acid. So vitamin C is supposed to improve surface pigmentation, uneven tone, and dark circles. Um, which can be caused by sun damage or over stimulation of the melena, which is your the darkness in your skin. So it's supposed to lighten those up or kind of even that out. Do you see my cat here? She's up there. What are you gonna do? Anyways, um, and then it's also supposed to invigorate dermal circulation, cell turnover, boost collagen, um, and fortify skin's immunity to defense or to defend free radicals that can age skin prematurely. So it's supposed to kind of turn back the clocks of time and help with your cell turnover. Then the pumpkin puree has natural enzymes to remove dehydrated cells to brighten and smooth. And then the honey is supposed to soothe and heal and clarify and restore the balance of your skin while the glycolic acid gently dissolves intercellular glue to exfoliate delts dead cells and impurities. So in I guess it's going to kind, to kind of remove all of that dead skin, help the cells turn over and the new skin to come forth. So it's supposed to help to anti-age and soothe and calm the skin. So right off the bat, this is really kind of, it's not really burning, but it's really like, have you ever like brushed your teeth and then you breathe in cold air like through your teeth and your teeth kind of like tingle? That's kind of what this feels like. Um, or if you, your hands are wet and then you put them under cold water. That's what this feels like where it's that kind of burning sensation but not quite. So that's really interesting. Not sure. The smell does not dissipate so it's still really, um, really strong, very sweet that pumpkin-y honey smell, which I'm not the biggest fan of, but you guys know I'm not the fan, a really big fan of sweet smells in general. So, you yeah. know. All right, well, I'm gonna let this hang out on my face for another 10 minutes or so, and or we got 17 minutes left, and by the power of super awesome YouTube, we are going to fast forward, so. And it's now been about 18 and a half minutes. I got about a minute left. I did want to tell you guys really quickly that this particular mask is certified gluten-free. It is also cruelty-free, vegetarian, and uh, no GMO. So this is a really good mask as far as ingredients-wise for your skin. Obviously, the one downside as far as packaging is it is not a pump, so you are you want to make sure that you really tighten this lid down um, to make sure all the products stay as fresh as possible because once the oxygen hits it, it does start to degrade. So um, my, 
what I would do or my advice would be to take this, take a scoop, like a hefty scoop out, put it on the back of your palm or put it onto a um, glass plate or some kind of plate and then put it, you know, close the lid and then put what you have on that plate onto your face just to make this last a little bit longer. But I didn't realize that it was uh, certified GMO free, uh, cruelty free and gluten free and 100% um, organic and vegetarian. So for those of you who don't like to use animal products and those kinds of things, this is great. Um, so far this is dried down. It's actually dried down pretty much completely. Um, my face feels a little bit tight. Uh, there's, it's a little bit sticky, but other than that, it's pretty much dried completely. I don't know if I would wear this overnight, but I don't know. Okay, so now I'm going to go and rinse this off and I will be right back. And we're back. Okay, so I have wiped off, I've washed off my face. I'm just kind of patting it dry, making sure that there's nothing left over. So immediately, my skin is super soft. It doesn't feel overly dehydrated. It kind of feels like it's a little plumper. Um, I don't really see a big change in my pores or anything like that. But overall, I think that this is a decent mask. I think it does really, I think my skin looks a little brighter. I look, I feel like I look a little bit better than I did before the mask. Um, I do, let's see, what else? Um, I would definitely use this mask again. I think that it really kind of smoothed out my skin. My skin feels so soft right now. It doesn't, um, I kind of expected, because it does say it's exfoliating for it to be kind of granulated it's not whatsoever it just rinsed off really really cleanly and yeah I kind of I really like it so I'm gonna keep using it and I'll kind of let you guys know what I think and as long as far as long term but I do think this is a great mask I just I can't get over how smooth my skin feels like oh my gosh and it feels much more hydrated I know I need to drink a ton of water just in general but I do feel like I really can tell a difference on days that I drink enough water and then the days I don't, usually like the next morning. If I drink enough water the day before, my face will feel like this. Like, it's just really plump and really just smooth and it's, it looks good. When I don't drink enough water, I feel like my skin just looks saggy, my under eye circles are a little heavier, and I just kind of, ugh, my skin, the texture of my skin is not quite right. So this definitely, in a pinch, I think this would be great if you needed to have your skin look really hydrated and you had like an important night out or something like that. And for 15 bucks, I think that this is a great price. I love that it is organic. I love that it's uh, certified cruelty free. It's actually certified by the Leaping Bunny organization and it is organic, vegetarian, or vegan. Sorry, let me make sure. It is certified vegetarian. It is cruelty free by Leaping Bunny. It is a really good one. Again, this is the Andalou Naturals Pumpkin Honey Glycolic Mask. So it's supposed to kind of smooth the texture of your skin, even your skin tone. It's supposed to plump up and rehydrate your skin and then really kind of help those old dead cells kind of slosh off and then re um, have the cells turn over to create new cells, soft new skin cells. So we'll see if it I get any type of like peeling action throughout the night or in the morning and I'll let you guys know. I'll probably put it on my Snapchat or my Instagram and let you guys know. I am going to put on my night creams really quick. I am testing out, this is the new, this is from Nip and Fab. It is a new project. This is the Dragon Blood Fix Hyaluronic Shot. So it is supposed to, um, it's a moisturizer. It's supposed to help plump your skin and keep, um, Kind of fill in your fine lines and wrinkles and so what you're supposed to do is i'm also using the renewed hope in a jar you guys know from my february favorites i really enjoy this so you're supposed to take a little bit two drops of this right onto your moisturizer kind of mix it in it's actually really thick much thicker than you would think it is you just kind of mix that together and add it to your face you just mix it in with your moisturizer at night and this is only my second day using it, so I'll let you guys know how it goes. I'll probably put it in my March favorites or hate it, depending on how it goes. Otherwise, I will mark it in my, I'll put it on my Facebook or, I mean, my Instagram or my Snapchat. So check those out. I'll link, I'll put my names and stuff down in, 
in the description box below so you guys can follow me on there. One last thing before I let y'all go is I do want to do a giveaway. I've been collecting an enormous amount of makeup and I have so much that I want to give away, but I need to increase my subscriber count. So here's the deal. What if I get to 50 subscribers, I will do a huge giveaway. We'll talk, we'll say maybe about $200 worth of product if you guys can help me out. But I need to obviously need you to help me out here. Share this video, share this one or whatever your favorite one is of my videos and let's get to 50 subscribers. If we do, there'll be a huge giveaway and it'll be really easy to enter. You guys can just like leave a comment or something and we will get this done and somebody will win some stuff. And then if we get even more, then I'll do another giveaway. So yeah, that's it. Hope you really enjoyed this video. I like this mask, I'm gonna keep using it. So this gets a stamp of approval from me. This is again the Andalou Naturals Honey or Pumpkin Honey Glycolic Mask. So check this one out. If you can find it, you can get it at Ulta. It's wonderful. Um, yeah, so I hope you guys liked this video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. Again, subscribe if you're not subscribed. Get your friends to, subs to subscribe. We need 50. 50 subscribers and we're gonna do a giveaway. So I'm really excited about that. I've been picking out some really cool products for you guys. And yeah, leave me a comment. Let me know if you've tried this mask, if you like it or you don't like it or if there's another mask that you've been dying to try that you really don't want to pull the trigger on I will buy it and let you know what I think of it and if nothing else I hope I gave you five or ten minutes of some stress relief and took your mind off whatever it is you're dealing with in your day and I hope you guys have a wonderful rest I hope you guys have a wonderful rest of your week and I'll catch you in my next video bye